Welcome to week number four. I uh, want to just tell you that week number four is a regular week. However, it is followed by an exam week. And if you've logged in, perhaps you've seen my little exam one con or exam coming icon. So this week's video is really going to tell you about next week's exam and what to expect. So uh, first, um, first, the bad news. Uh, there are two parts to the exam. Part number one is timed and between 80 and 100 minutes. Um, there will be one question presented to you at a time, and you must answer that question before you get to see the next question, and there is no backtracking. Um, each of the questions is pool-based, so not only will um, you see different questions than your classmates, uh, you will see them in a different order. And um, let's see, that's, oh, part two. Part two could be timed for part of it. It could, you could have the um, entire exam window as I'll talk about. Uh, you could submit a PDF or you could submit a video. So uh, first thing I will tell you is uh, one of the first things you wanna do is open up and look at the questions in uh, part two because again, you'll have the whole three days to do it. Oh, let me get to the good news. The good news is that you have three days to take the exam and you have three attempts. And uh, as far as taking the exam, that means that you can take part one three times. You can take part two three times. And uh, your highest one of each of those is the one that goes into my gradebook for the parts of exam one. Now, a couple more details. Exam one, within 30 minutes of completing it, you must upload all of the work that you did for that exam. Now, some questions, uh, so I know how you've been doing work and I know what types of work you've been showing for all the homework. You do not have to show work for every question. You do have to show work um, for any question that is 10 points or more if you want partial credit, okay? And that's a feature of these exams too. Most of the questions are less than 10 points. A few of the questions are worth 10 or even 12 points sometimes. And when they are, I do go back in and check your work to make sure that you did your work. So do show work for the 10 point questions so that I can follow it so that I can make sure that your work matches your answer and so that if you don't get the right answer, I can award you partial credit. Um, one approach to taking the exams is at the beginning of the exam window, uh, which is noted and you can look at week five already and see when you're allowed to take the exam, which three days. But one approach is to take uh, attempt one for part one at the beginning, study more material and take part two on day two, and study more and take part three on day three. You do not have to use all of your attempts. You can only use one of the attempts, and if you've scored well on it, then you're done. Uh, further, remember, the um, uh, each attempt will get different questions, so you may do better uh, on a first attempt, study, and then even not do as well Hopefully that won't happen. I don't. Most of the time, in my experience, exam grades go up uh, with each attempt. In general, um, there was something else I wanted to tell you about the exam. Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, all of these details are in week five. Um, if you have any questions about it, please uh, talk to me. Oh, this is what I want to talk about. There is an exam pra a practice. Uh, questions to practice for the exam, and those do come with an answer key. So look for those as well. As my old soccer coach used to say before a match, uh, good luck and good skill on your exam next week. And again, uh, the idea is that if you've been doing everything each week, that the exam uh, should have few, if any, surprises, since a lot of the questions are similar to homework questions you've already seen. Okay.